Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'll show you how to allow your players to use abilities in-game with a new Signal Remote and Signal Remote Manager device. For those who don't know, they added uh, new items and new device and this new device, you know. I mean, there are more devices that are new in this patch like the character device and the switch. Uh, device but we're not focusing on those so the signal remote manager pretty much handles the settings and once you got the settings ready you can just drop one of these signal remotes right and then that signal remote will have these settings in game and you can use it from your inventory to transmit on different channels which is pretty cool and opens a lot of possibilities so this uh, this is what we're going to be using for this tutorial that way your players can use those abilities that you saw earlier in any minigame because we're going to create four different abilities we're going to use all of the signal remotes from A to D remember that you can find this in the weapons tab and because there are four, we're going to use four different power-ups. I use the one that makes you slide, the one that increases your strength, the one that gives you health, and this speed modulator. We'll also use an item granter that grants the player the signal remotes, and a trigger that activates that item granter so that the player can get the remotes. Good? <laughs> so first we're going to set up the signal remote manager. Just set up a cooldown time and choose an available channel to put at the two last options. Once you got it all set up, all you're gonna do is, you know, drop the, drop this, you know, the signal remote on the device. I already have them here, you know, on the device, but like, I'm gonna do it just to show you how to do it. Make sure to separate them so they don't, you know, it doesn't ma mess up. Okay, so you go here, first one, second one. Item. You, you get the idea, right? Like, I, I'm just putting this. Don't repeat them. You know, they have to be a different one in each device. That's why four of them exist. <laughs> Items. Bada boom, bada bing. Bada boom, bing, bing. Now it goes in. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I did mess it up. You get the idea. Now we'll set up the power up so that when we use the signal remote in game, they activate. So you're gonna wanna copy these settings. And in the pickup when received from setting, we're going to put one of the channels that we had previously used in the signal remote manager. Remember that we used one different channel for each signal remote manager device. Just use each one of those in each different power up. In that damage multiplier, I used the channel number one. And now in this other power up that's going to make me go fast, I'm going to use the channel number two. And in the next power up that's going to be the sliding one, I'm going to use, you guessed it, channel three. Remember to copy the settings, okay? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> And for the last power-up, I'm going to use the last channel I used in the last signal remote manager device, which would be the channel number 4. And last but not least, we're going to set up the item grantor, which will give us the signal remote. And, you know, a gun, because in this map I added zombies so that I can use the abilities. So, yeah. Simply drop the signal remotes and the gun into the item grinder and then set up a trigger that the player can use to get the items. And that's pretty much it. You can use a board to tell players which device activates each ability so that they don't forget and you know start using random abilities. 
but yeah, that would be the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them on the comments and I'll answer them. Like and subscribe and look at my other videos. So yeah, have a good day and I'll see you on the next tutorial or creative gameplay. I don't know, whatever I upload next.